Hello, welcome to 100% Minis and today we are looking at viewer car number two. Hello, my name is Dean. I'm a technician at BMW in Cooper Sunland. This is my 2015 F56 John Cooper Works. drive in Dean's um, John Cooper Works F56 um, what's your what's your favorite favorite things about it sporty it's fun uh, they're not the worst on fuel they're just just generally all around good cars so what sort of fuel can we do again uh, I average about 25 running away and back but it's only short distances right uh, not a good run yeah you're talking like 35 40 minutes like that. right that's not too bad it's pretty impressive for a car how do you find the auto box? It's excellent, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, some t in green mode, it's sometimes a little bit jerky, but any anything else, it's, it's perfect. It's spot on. Yeah. Gear okay, changes are uh, you can't feel them really. Right. Do you ever get a um, like sort of a situation where you kind of grab a lower gear when you want it? Ah, uh, it's like it's you know, like if you like, say you come around about you want second, but it's it's uh, you're at your high revs, it'll keep it in the third. Ah, uh, if I'm in high revs, it will. Just sit in the same gear. If the revs are too high, it won't go down. It won't go down. Whereas, yeah. whereas obviously, in a manual, you can change whenever you want. Yeah. Uh, but you wreck your clutch. Oh, you <laughs> destroy your clutch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. What about launch control? Have you do you use that much? I've used it, but I find I find it's easier to do do it yourself. Yeah. It just doesn't. I've used it once or twice, but I don't think it does anything. Yeah. Because the car still jerks. You know, like as if I'll be foot on the brake yeah. and floored it, it still sits, sits, so sits and sits. then just it's off it goes. Right. Well, how do you get into launch control? Do you, do you, do you uh, pull both the paddles or do you yeah, just. No, you put it into sport mode. Yeah. Flick the traction control button. Yeah. Oh, just so you flick it once. Uh, right. Uh, foot on the brake all the way down and then. Floor the throttle. Floor the throttle. And then I'll hold the revs about 4,000 and then let's get going, it goes. Uh, Dean's actually told me an interesting fact about the traction control. If you flick it once, it turns it into what's it called? Like a Dynam dynamic? Dynamic traction control. Which gives you a little bit of play, yeah. but yeah. Keeps, you, keeps you on the road. Keeps you on the road. Yeah. Whereas when I've been driving my Mini, um, I'll just switch it straight off and then just hope for the best. Uh, so that's a nice little tip from Dean. I appreciate that. <laughs> So is there anything that you don't like about the car? Just the uh, tyres really, the Pirellis. Pirellis I'm not a massive fan of. Uh, they're quite noisy. Um, they're a little bit unpredictable and then obviously in the wet, they're very slippy. I know most cars are slippy in the wet, but these Pirelli tyres I'm just not a fan of in the wet. Yeah, they're the run flats, aren't they? Run flats. Yeah. The run flats are probably the reason that they're quite noisy. Yeah. But just, just generally they're just a little bit too, they've got too much slip. Yeah. They don't grip as well as you would think. Yeah. So it just catches out as well. Catches out, yeah. that's it. The traction. Yeah. 
it's it really it's instant as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not there's no delay, which is I think in the past minis it was a massive delay. Ah, <laughs> uh, it was. It was <laughs> the, the previous mini wasn't the best ever. Yeah. This seems it picks up thick quick as well. Does it just drop gear as soon as you put your foot down? So it's just drop bam bam. Ah, there you go. But it's got like, on the pedal. It's got like, a, you can floor it and it won't change gear. But it's got like, a switch. Ah, you do. You put it through that time. Yeah. yeah. Golf jet, yeah, I had that. It was, you put it so far, and you kicked it, and it was a little click, and that was like jump, jump down the tail. Dean's been kind enough to let me have a drive of his car, so... Are you sure? It's <laughs> <laughs> right down. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to cross it, to go into manual. So the suspension's definitely set up better. Different. Yeah. Well, I, see, I never, I never realised yeah. that. Milk good, tops right? that I've got. Um, absolutely shocking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in sport mode, obviously, it's got the damper dampers on. Aye. So it, um, it stiffens things up. Mm -hmm. But you can tell it's not, it's just like manipulating it. It's not like proper sports suspension. That's what I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever driven one with a variable damper. So. Yeah. So. And it's nice when you get the, because um, if it's comfortable on like a motorway, so yeah, that. Aye. Day to day stuff, and you put it in sport mode, it feels a bit sportier, but it just feels a bit sportier. It's not, it hasn't got, I mean, it should really get some full coil overs on it, and uh, then it'll like, that'll see, then it'll change it completely. Um, now I've driven this, I probably will do that, which is, I mean, you've tried just cost us about <laughs> 1400 pounds to chill. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so we're going to do launch control now, uh, if we get a chance. Um, sport? Right, sport. Sport. Traction control's off, isn't it? Traction control's off. In the manual. Put on the brake. Put on the brake. Floor it and it'll tell you on there if it's launch control. Is it working? No. no. Exhaust, and that's still a good noise. 
now I've got into the, the Challenge 210, uh, my Mini, with Dean, just to show Dean the uh, the GB4 and the 296 brake horsepower, and obviously the sound of the decal. for watching 100 minis uh, thank you to dean for bringing his john cooper works auto absolutely fantastic car it does make me think should i have bought a john cooper works a little bit um <laughs> uh, or will it cost us some money sometimes to get some new suspension now uh, so yeah so cheers for dean for costing us probably about 1400 or 1500 pound on some new coilovers because the suspension's rubbish um and new brakes which probably cost us about another 1500 quid so thank you very much for that uh, thank you for watching please thumbs up the video uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you want the, your mini on the channel uh, please get in touch. We'll be releasing soon. How are you going to do that? We've got an email set up. I'm just going through the final stages of that and we'll see you soon. Thanks very much.